Welcome to Take 5 with UBC Library, our top tips for research and learning in five minutes or less. In this session, we'll be talking about the Tri-Agency Open Access Policy and meeting its requirements. Thanks for joining us. Canada has three major granting agencies that support research through funding. The Canadian Institutes of Health Research, the Natural Sciences and Engineering Research Council, and the Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council. As of 2015, all three require any journal publication they fund to be openly accessible within 12 months of publication. By open access, we mean that your article must be open to the public without barriers of publisher paywalls or required accounts. There are two ways to make your research openly accessible. One, you can publish it in an open access journal, or two, you can archive it in an open digital repository. Let's start with the first way. Today, most journals do give you an open access option. Some journals may already be completely open access. Others might require you to pay an article processing charge, or APC, to make your article openly accessible. Still others may be a combination of these. Keep in mind that article processing charges can be costly, ranging from a few hundred to a few thousand dollars. The good news is that the tri-agencies allow you to write these costs into your grant. Also, UBC Library has negotiated discounts for some publisher fees. Don't wait until the moment you go to publish. Do research in advance to find out what the journals in your field offer and what fees they charge. How do you know whether a journal offers open access? If you have a journal in mind, go straight to their website to check. You can also find a list of journals in your field by going to the online Directory of Open Access Journals, or DOAJ. This gives you overviews of open access policies for more than 10,000 scholarly journals. The second way to meet your open access requirement is to archive your work in an open repository. At UBC, our open repository is called CIRCLE. Once you register with CIRCLE, we do most of the work for you at no cost. We'll put your article online and we'll preserve it over time. If your article has been previously accepted and published by a journal, you should be aware of their archiving policies. Typically, publishers don't allow you to archive the final published version. Many do, however, let you archive a version of your work that has been through the peer-reviewed process, sometimes called the postprint or author's accepted version. Again, you can check the publisher's website for full information. You can also use a tool called Sherpa Romeo to review your journal's open access and archiving policies. As a closing reminder, always review your publisher's agreement to ensure you're keeping important rights. For instance, you might want to share your article with colleagues, use it in teaching, or post it on your personal or departmental website. Whichever open access method you choose, you'll be opening up your research to the world. You'll be making it more accessible to fellow scholars and the public, and as a result, you'll be cited more often and you'll raise your scholarly impact. In today's world, open access publishing is an excellent way to build your profile as a scholar. Need help or want to know more? Email us at scholarly.communications at ubc.ca or visit our website.